Emeritus, a compounding pharmacy under investigation for its owner's ties to a deadly meningitis outbreak, has voluntarily recalled all its unexpired products. Emeritus has not received any adverse reports related to the products subject to this recall and neither Emeritus nor the FDA has identified impurities in any Emeritus products, the company wrote on its website Wednesday. Nevertheless, out of an abundance of caution, we are undertaking this recall to assure customers that when Emeritus products are shipped, they are fully in conformance with all of the FDA's recommendations. The Food and Drug Administration has asked for improvements. Thank you for trying verbose. This recording will go away once the product has been purchased. In the company's sterility testing process, according to the statement, Emeritus shares ownership with New England Compounding Center which produced an injectable steroid allegedly tainted with fungus that caused an outbreak of fungal meningitis, which has killed 29 people as of Wednesday, according to the Centers for Disease Control. There are 377 cases in 19 states. State officials have also asked for Emeritus's pharmacist of record, Sophia Pussies, to step down from the Board of Registration in Pharmacy, where she is a board member. At NBCC's Framingham Lab, Investigators found visibly soiled mats and a leaky boiler. Thank you for trying verbose. This recording will go away once the product has been purchased. Lab workers allegedly didn't follow proper protocol for sterilizing products, did not test its sterilization equipment, and failed to properly clean the powder hoods used to protect pharmacists from inhaling substances during drug preparation, according to state public health officials. Over the weekend. Interim Commissioner of Public Health Lauren Smith and Bureau of Healthcare Safety and Quality Director Madeline Bianola Lowe announced that another lab had been shut down. Waltham Compounding Pharmacy Infusion Resource surrendered its pharmacy license after a surprise inspection turned up concerns over sterility at the lab, and the discovery that injections were taking place. Thank you for trying verbose. This recording will go away once the product has been purchased. On site, which was beyond the scope of infusion's license. Infusion had also agreed to recall its products. Unlike NDCC, Emeritus had a license to manufacture drugs on a large scale. NDCC was restricted to producing drugs for individual patients, but had allegedly violated that restriction. The Westboro company, Emeritus, on October 10 agreed to temporarily close its operations, so that an investigation could take place. In a Friday, October 19 extension of a previous agreement, Emeritus agreed to stay closed until November 5 at 5 p.m. The section is voluntary and represents an expansion of our thank you for trying verbose. This recording will go away once the product has been purchased. Cooperation with the U.S. Food and Drug Administration and the Massachusetts Board of Registration in Pharmacy, the statement published Wednesday on the Emeritus website reads, Emeritus produced a variety of products, including sedatives, antibiotics, anesthetics and more. Our preparations undergo rigid real-time stability studies using stability indicating methodologies by third parties, independent FDA-registered laboratories for a wide range of criteria including stability and sterility, the company said on its website.